All right, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play series. It is Wrath of the Lich King Classic finally here in Northrend for a couple episodes now. I was up really late last night. And uh, anyway, putting some time in. Um, the last thing we have to do today is get this lost shield. Uh, not the last thing we have to do today, but, you know, the, um... Now ah, we're gonna miss the boat, but that's okay. Uh, we have to get on this boat and get the shield. So, we're just gonna go wait for it. Because that's what we will have to do. I might check to see if I can buy cold weather flying. While we wait. But anyway, I hope you're doing well. My birthday is coming up in two days. I'm going to be 29 years old. It's fucking crazy. It's it's the craziest shit I've ever heard of. But I'm feeling okay about it. It could be worse. Alright, let me see. Cold weather flying. Learning to fly, but not having wings. You will need to learn cold weather flying. Okay. We've landed here, but mouths will not fly. Okay, we have to be level 77. All right. Cool, that's all I need to know. Anyway, um, we're going to watch this boat go around. It's going to come here. This guy's hanging out. Looking pretty... Pretty spooky, honestly. His, like, eyes are... I don't... I'm not quite sure what's going on there, to be honest with you. Well, anyway, here's the boat. So we're gonna get on. I'm gonna try to put in a solid session today, see how much of this we can do. We'll be 70, we'll be, we'll be level 71 really soon. No, please, please. Uh, okay. So who do I have to talk to? Um, okay, cool. Got to get the blasting powder, as as one does on a ship. Buff up, oh my god. Get your buff on, brother. Yeah, okay. Get your buff on, brother. Okay. Oh, that's cool. They have it as well, I guess. Shocked that that did not pull the other mutinous sea dog. You know how these mutinous sea dogs are. Mutinous and sea dogish. What? Oh. Gotta make more juice. Damn, that's a lot of cursed sea dog yelling.
Ravioli, ravioli, Great Barrier Reef, indeed. So we have to, right. There's like a big, big guy we gotta kill. We gotta kill Sorloff. Or no, we gotta kill, oh yeah. Gotta go big gun assault. I'm just gonna keep doing this until he's dead. I'm not gonna. Oh, I guess I could click on him. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, never mind. It doesn't work like that. I like that the cannon fucking rips itself sideways every time. Okay, so now I gotta go get the booty, and then I'm pretty sure... This quest is kind of annoying, because then I'm gonna have to go back to that island and wait until it docks. Why don't they just give it to you, you know? That's alright. I guess it kind of makes sense, because, like, they can't, they can't leave the ship because they're ghosts, so they need you to do it. Okay. So that's uh, that's everything for this part. Uh, like I said, I'm just gonna skip uh, Jonah Sterling. The jig is up. I think it's just gonna be a little bit of too much of a pain. Hold on. Doing some rigging. Let's go up here. I think there's just like two. We're going to turn all four of these parts in of this, uh, you know, these, these, uh, Vrykul treasures. And then I think there's one more quest in this chain after that. And then I think we should go up here.
Yeah, I think we're going to turn these in and then go, like, put the artifacts back where we started at those graves. Which I'm not sure why Shield Hill doesn't have a name, but that's okay. Doesn't actually matter, doesn't matter. Whoa. Yeah, it's kind of a fun little questing area. I enjoy that. Fun storyline. Maybe when we're like 72, we'll come back and do this. I don't, you know. I'm going to stick to my guns on that and just avoid it. All right. Hello, sir. I have stuff. We might level up off that. I don't think so. I think we're going to be really close. Yep, we'll be really close. Okay. So, yep, we got to put all these artifacts back here where they were originally from. With our bundle of artifacts, our Santa sack of goodies. Everybody says the Grizzly Hills music is really good, so I forget what that sounds like. I like this music a lot. Kind of Viking-y, I guess. It's probably a really stupid way to describe that, but I'm a pretty stupid person, so it, you know, it's on brand. Skunk. Hi, skunk. All right. These, uh, these guys are probably going to say something. Your offering has come too late. All right, pretty depressing. <laughs> Not exactly what we wanted to hear, but yeah, that's okay. What can you do? See, this time I'm taking the run around approach. Let's see if I can get away with it. Probably not, honestly. Yeah. Look at the seas. Your doom comes with the swell of the tides. Look at my nuts. Hey. Look at my butt. Okay, so we gotta go up here, whatever. 
What's a couple more kills between friends? What do you have to say for yourself? My brothers have woken up. It's time for school. I just had a flashback to going to fucking Tanaris, being in Tanaris and doing those fucking quests in the desert. Man, doesn't that feel like so long ago? This has been a long playthrough. Definitely the longest series I've ever worked on by far. By far. Not even close. Like, it's, it's definitely going to be well over 100 episodes. Pretty cool. I just like measuring the time, you know, being able to look back and be like, damn, it's crazy that we did that. Okay, so we basically got to go back and say, yeah, that shit did not work, my guy. That, uh, they are, they are pretty, pretty pissed off, pretty set on killing everybody. But we tried. That's the important thing. Sorry, I'm slamming my shit. All these quests say they're 71, but I'm pretty sure they're... I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's not. You can do all these quests at like 69 and 70. Oh, excuse me. Most of them. Most of them. Some of them are 70 only, and then a couple of them pop up once you're 71. This is true. Anyway. Man, I think you can... I wonder if you can get a shovel, shovel tusk mount. I'm pretty sure you can... That'd be badass. Oh, I keep doing that. It's the different lift. Okay. Let us visit for a while. Deliver the bad news. Oh, that's cool. Boron. Um, I guess I'll just use the Hearthstone because I don't want to wait for this lift. And then we'll fly. You know, we'll we'll fly to our next location. Yeah. All right, let's get the item that restore. Mm. I'm gonna get the one that restores 
mana, I guess. I, I bet haste is probably like better technically, but whatever. We'll live and die by my choices. Critical strike rating, spell... Damn, this is going to be a huge fucking boost. Okay. Is there a mailbox here? Ah, uh, you know what? If there is, it doesn't matter. Let's, uh... Let's take a little flight over here to Vengeance Landing. And, uh... You know, after that, we will just... Go up here and make our way over here because... We do have a quest to go to Winterhoof, and there's a fuck ton of... There's a bunch of quests that come out of here, basically. And we'll be 71 in a second. Which is pretty cool. I gotta turn a light on, it's fucking dark in here, one second. I like the darkness, but can't live in it all day long. Man, this shit looks cool. Look how fucking cool that looks. It's like these buildings into the side. I love the visual style of this expansion. Like, they really want... Even compared to Outlands, like, it's a huge upgrade in, like, style. Pretty cool. Man, nobody wants that Sash of Silent Blades. I think because it's level 60 and it's right after the Battlegrounds cap because it's like you're either 59 or when you're 60, you're in another, you know, you're in the next level of Battlegrounds. So, like, that's technically the lowest level of gear for that, for that tier of Battlegrounds. So, I would assume that nobody wants that shit. Maybe I can sell it for just something cheap if somebody wants a quick boost. But yeah, that makes sense. It's probably not worth anything. And that's okay. All right, now we head the other direction.
I'm going to wait on doing the Spirits of the Ice quest. Well, let me go look at what it is real quick, but I think there's a bunch of other quests that are near it. So I think I'm going to wait until we get to the, uh, the Camp Winterhoof. And unfortunately, yep. Cool, yep, we're gonna wait on this. Unfortunately, all these enemies here, I believe, are immune to our water spells, our ice spells, our frost spells. So that sucks. But it does happen from time to time. What are you gonna do? Okay, let's get this flight point, set our new home, and grab some quests. We gotta get some ram horns. We gotta kill mountain elementals. We've got to get some hippogriff clumps. Well, and we've got to help Camp Winterhoof. Or no, that's a different thing. What? Cool, alright. We have our mission. We have our orders. Um, I think there's a quest to kill. Hold on. Let's use our new trinket. Damn, that shit's kind of badass, though. The whiteness from the snow is just blinding me. It's so bright. on before I forget to re-up. But they don't give them up easy. Always hitting Scorch instead of Fireball.
those beyond first world problems. Um, it says the fucking ice elementals or whatever, the mountain elementals have the hippogriff down. I think that's a glit, uh, uh, inaccurate. I think they're just on the ground somewhere else. All right. Rams of Plenty. My family used to go to this restaurant on Thanksgiving called Rams Horn. I think it's like only a Michigan thing, but it's like a just a family diner type deal. Um, it's because my grandparents never wanted us to cook, and they didn't want to cook either. So we would go to we'd go to Rams Horn and bother the people there that were working. But uh, it's kind of sweet because. Uh, there would always be, there was a guy that used to manage it and like own it, whatever, you know, it was just like a franchise location. And, uh, then there was this really sweet, uh, waitress who, I don't know, she was probably in her like early thirties or something, had a family of her own and we would always, uh, talk to her. And, uh, eventually she ended up b buying the place and she's the owner now, which is kind of cool. What's going on? Olive Jane, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Just uh, how I'm doing is what you're seeing, you know? This is my Saturday, I'm not working. Gonna uh, <laughs> go to Chipotle later because my partner has a gift card. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's Chipotle date night. You know how it is. Right, so this shit sucks because I'm <laughs> good you look like Harry Potter. Well, you know, it's not the first time I've heard it. Uh, my other friend gets the Ron Weasley thing a lot, so uh, I don't know. I guess we're just destined for misery. This is, this sucks. But I hope you're doing all right. I hope you're enjoying your Saturday. Oh, cool. All I have to do is kill them. This sucks. You know, um, I have a memory of being very young and sitting in a CVS parking lot waiting for my mom to come out or Walgreens or whatever, I don't fucking know. And uh, there were these, like, I, I was very young and there were these two teenagers, not, they were beyond teenagers. They had to have been, you know, in their 20s. And they, uh, you know, I was very dorky in my wireframe glasses and my, uh, my braces and they're just looking at me in the car and laughing and pointing at me. And I, I, I could hear them saying, it's Harry Potter, it's Harry Potter. <laughs> so, it's kind of the, the image that I always come back to when somebody says that. Well, I guess that's what, uh, what years of childhood ridicule, ridicule will do to you is at least uh, make you funny or something. I don't know. But thank you.
Nah, I've got my artwork locked down. I work with a couple friends on that. Appreciate it. I'd recommend that if you're going to try to advertise, maybe you don't compare people uh, the first thing you say to other people, but that's just uh, it's just a suggestion. Doesn't really doesn't really matter. I uh, met somebody the other day for the first time, and the first thing they said to me was, "Hey, you look like Jack White." I just can't uh, can't fathom how that's the first thing you say to someone is, "Oh, you look oh you know who you look like." How many of these do I have? Need to target something first. Fond memories of Thanksgiving at Ramshorn, though. Those were, oh, you know, it was it was nice times. I hope that woman is doing okay wherever she is. If she's still managing Ramshorn, if she still owns it, I hope she's doing well. So we got those. I'm almost positive that there is another quest that involves these elementals, but let me get, I guess I'll do one more here. Get all my fucking buffs ready. Get down on it. Get down on it. Oh. Cool. What next? Yeah, the 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 hippogriff shit is just laying all over the place, right? Get down on it, get down on it. Let me see. I thought it was. Yeah, here we go. It's around.
This one looks smaller. Does it count? Will it be any easier to kill? I think so. I think the answer is yes. They're not. Oh, they're not the right ones. I was killing. It says that I can get the down from them, but that's not real. I don't think. All right. Well, let me go get this uh, Spirits of Ice quest because I think it overlaps. Like I'm almost positive. But if I'm wrong and I look like a fool, that's okay. Show me what you got. Ah, uh, the great outdoors. Fifteen icy cores. Yep. Yep. Well, no. They're different. Okay. Well. Joke's on me. This sucks, though, because I got to keep using fire spells, fire spells. Which right now is never fun. All right, and summoning the water elemental was a mistake, and it won't do anything because these homies are immune. But I guess we can have them do it anyway, just for fun. Oh, is he not even going to try? He's, like, not even trying. Damn. Same. Honestly. Damn. 15 of these. I thought they could drop more than one. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I should just spam Scorch. See what happens if I just go for it. Honestly, maybe arcane missiles would be better for this. Probably. Um, anyway, sorry. I'm making a fool of myself.
All right, what if we open with arcane missiles? I mean, it's it's fine, I guess. I don't know. Gonna have to put up with it. I need to get Damn. And Ice Barrier really does refresh so fast, it's pretty sick. This quest is kind of weird too because it's like you need to get these drops from them but they drop every time so why isn't it just a kill quest i guess conceptually is the reason but it's like huh it's weird all right This will hopefully be the most pain we'll be in for a while, this fucking quest. It's like having everything taken away from you. It's like when you get fucking in the games when you get like captured and you get put in a jail and you only have like your most base things. That's what it feels like. Pick up these feathers while we're here. There's a lot of them over here. I can't cast that yet. pain is coming to an end slowly still got to do four more of the mountain elementals but you know it'll be okay So four more of these. If this was like the kind of quest where they only dropped every now and then, I would be so mad. It would. I might skip it. I might skip this whole chain.
There's no telling what I would do in that circumstance. Okay, here's our last two. Let's get fueled up. I think there's a couple follow-ups to this. Is there trouble? Level up. Yeah. Hi. Now these quests are over here. Okay. Um. Cool. There's that seventy-one. We're gonna keep working on. Um, arcane concentration, which is good. Gotta free some chilled ass nymphs. What? I do not want to fight any more of you, please, no. Please. I've had enough. All right, we'll find some more hippogriff feathers uh, as as we go here. Let's keep working on this. Uh, this kind of nymph quest line. Look for the feathers. There's one. Yeah, I don't all these enemies say that they have the hippogriff down. It's not true. It's a fucking lie. There we go. All right, now let's go free the chill nymphs, I guess, and then scarlet ivy. The nymphs must be freed. Oh, here's the Scarlet Ivy.
Don't know why I used Fire Blast instead of Ice Lance. Amateur mistake. That's okay. See, look, this doesn't have a recharge. Like, some shit just has, like, a 10-minute long recharge. For no reason. And by 10 minutes, I mean, like, 30 seconds. But still. This is how it should be done. Quick. Awesome. Look, I already got 5 out of 7. That's sick. Get something first. That's still recharging. Can I still use it? To, nice, that way I don't have to fight him. That spell isn't ready yet. Ooh, and I missed with it. What an what a, what a amateur move. There's just like a couple more quests in this chain. Just a little detour for us. And there's still quite a few quests to be done in this zone. See, we even have a new one here. But, uh, yeah, we should. Maybe we'll get halfway to 72. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see. Kill 10 Thornvine Creepers. And then we have to freeze a bunch of spores. So we go back. Ooh, it's a different area. So we kind of go back. But not really. Nine more levels till max level. Pretty cool. It's gonna take a long time, but that's okay. Hey, maybe it won't though. The thing is, you know, if we play consistently, it'll only take so long, right? What? Freeze a spore. But this is a spore. Okay. <laughs> what? Can I freeze it now? Wait, why? Oh, do I have to kill them? I think I have to kill them first. It's really strange that you have to wonder what the what the theory behind that is or whatever what the lore what the reasoning
Damn. Pulling a fuck ton of extra enemies. Last time I was doing this, there were people like farming these things, so they were all like grayed out already. It was really weird. Like the spores, somebody was like farming them. I don't know what kind of shit you can get off them, but it's gotta be something. It was uh, interesting. And then we're going to have to, I think, oh. right. I don't want to fight that person yet because they're, uh, they're just, a. They're, we're going to have to come back and kill them in a second. So there's no point. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, I guess we're fighting this guy now too. Oh my god. <laughs> sure, why not? Oh my god. Sure, you know what? I guess so. Probably gonna die here. Maybe not. I guess I could technically live. I could just freeze him and run away. Damn. See if I can recover. Hell yeah. Damn, that was a cluster. Good old cluster fook. Damn, my fucking mana recharges real fast now. I bet that trinket helps a good deal, honestly. Alright, can I get some of these, uh... <laughs> Let me get some of these going. Damn, all crits. Four crits in a row. That's pretty sick. That's still recharging.
All right, last creeper here. Sick. And then what do we got? Three more spores? Yeah, see, this one's grayed out. Maybe, maybe that's just what they... I don't know. Somebody might have tagged it and then just left. That's probably why. Let's go to a less dangerous location. This is really not fitting that bill, but whatever. <laughs> We'll fight. Why not? Cool. Now we'll go back to our uh, nymph lady friend. We still got to kill those other four mountain elementals. And then we can actually, we haven't even really done many, any of the Winterhoof quests. And then I think we got to go back and kill that keeper uh, named NPC. Yeah. Oh. Spirit. I like the, the the cape for sure. All right, get more of that spirit. Yeah, we have 441 spirit. Mainly just for mana regeneration is what I like that for. Health and mana. Damn, 204 per five seconds, that's awesome. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Then here's this NPC. Chance is coming. Uh. And decreased intellect. Yeah. 
Does this decrease his intellect by 60? That sucks, but... By 30 minutes? 30 minutes? What the fuck? I need to target something oh, sorry. first. Ooh. Man, oh man. All right, so here's the deal, y'all. Um, it's about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm gonna end this episode here, and this episode. Now, if you're still on the stream, we're gonna keep going, but uh, I'm just gonna cut this episode here. So, for those of you YouTubers, I'll see you in the next episode, um, and we will continue on here with these quests in the Howling Fjord.